Welcome back, everyone, to a brand new Lush Life video. My name's uh, Leon, your host. I'm joined here by the illustrious Mrs. Lush. Josh, the slithery will be sprinkling that magic on. Han, you know, we've been uh, diving into some older kind of 90s, early 2000s television shows lately. People seem to like it. It's certainly nostalgic for us, and it does highlight how preposterous some of these concepts were back then. I mean, I really enjoyed the 90s and 2000s, music, TV, you name it. Mm, mm -hmm. And I mean, nostalgic for some, and then maybe just a look at the legacy, you know, some of you younger cats looking at what we had to grow up with and kind of <laughs> being like, wow, that's terrible. Like, we're like, oh, TikTok's lame, but you watch this shit as a young kid, you're like, well, not as lame as these shows were. <laughs> uh, so we checked out Next and Room Raiders. Next on the docket, probably same production team if I had to guess, a show right. called Parental Control. I even had some requests in the comments for this one. The premise was basically a, par a couple of parents that had a daughter or a son in which they didn't like their daughter or son's partner. The dad gets to pick one person, the mom gets to pick one person, and then they compete against the current BF or GF, and at the end, the son or daughter has to pick between the current or the new one of the new two. We're gonna watch through one episode instead of jumping around to provide context and uh, kind of understand what's going on and we're gonna provide a little commentary along the way. I'm Marshall and I'm a radio talk show host. Hi, I'm Helene and I'm a sales rep. My son Josh and I are really good friends. Josh? We talk all the time, we Josh? hang out all the time and he's a really good student. But his girlfriend is a bitch. <laughs> we got this one little problem and that's his lady friend. She's a complete and total moron. Oh. I use the term lady very loosely. <laughs> I love how she's a complete and total moron. Just no no bars held, man. No holes barred? I meant no holes barred, damn it. <laughs> I'm such a dumb. This is Josh. And this is his girlfriend, Crystal. They've been together for six months and are head over heels in love. Oh, snap. Six months. I know. She's getting serious. Yeah, it's head over heels, six months, let's go. Does they how old they are? I mean, typically, if you're like their high school or just after. 18, 19, 20. So, yeah, Parents exactly. have had enough of Crystal, and they're ready to replace her with another girl. So they're both picking out someone new for Josh to date. Imagine oh, what'll nice. happen when Crystal sits yeah. down with Josh's parents and they watch the dates together. Damn, nice. Uh, oh, see, Josh, <laughs> nice. First thing he said. Oh, that's right. They sit down with the current suitor as well. So they're going to sit down with his current girlfriend and watch the dates together. That's oh, right. Boy. So, so he's basically like, oh yeah, that girl's mad skinny and he likes her more. That's so fucking weird, dude. It's so awkward. Crystal does nothing for Josh. And he's a good kid and he likes to help people, but she just takes advantage of that. Chicken. I treat Josh just fine. I mean, Josh must be happy if he's been with me for six months and not going to leave me now. Oh, you know. Six months is the turning point. I was going to say, Lockdown. must be happy or that head game bond. I had to censor myself there, but you guys can figure out what I said. Crystal dresses like a slut. Wow. I don't mean. To... Leave me now. <laughs> All right. Crystal All right. dresses like a slut. Marshall. And I don't mean to impugn the reputation of sluts. She wears like midruffs and really. Wow. Low I'm sorry. She wears midruffs. This is that what she said? She wears like midruffs. Imagine by today's standards. Oh my gosh. Holy. F if you spend one minute on TikTok, you'd be crying laughing at how Absolutely. insanely conservative. It's actually hard to find shirts that aren't crop tops nowadays. It, it's, yeah. Mar I hate them, obviously. Mar God damn it, Marshall. I wish you could just, I wish you could have traveled like 20 years in the future because you don't know what a slot is until you're in current. <laughs> Josh and I have been tight ever since he was a little kid. Unlike Crystal, she's not tight at all. Slut. The more she infects him oh, God. with who she is, then it's gonna be tougher for me to get along with him. Wait, why did the quality just get a hundred times better? Now it's time for mom and dad to pick a new girl for Josh to go out with. Hi. Hey. Hello. I'm Morton. The vetting process. Hey. Hi, I'm Anna. Monica. You know that uh, you go near them tattoos. I'm gonna chairs. say tattoos? Nope. Slut trailer trash? Disgusting, dude. So what do you do for a living? Um, I'm an industrial waste inspector. I work at a day program with special what? ed people. I do a voiceovers and radio. I ride a dirt bike. Oh, yeah, wow. I've been riding wow. since I was eight. I work at Abercrombie. <laughs> and bitch. I'm a student. I <laughs> They were like, huh? Why was the pause they, they so were, they, they were like, I'm sorry, what? She's like, and Fitch? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Why was the pause sure. so funny? I work at Abercrombie. Our son's really into politics and current events, so I'm going to ask you a few questions and uh, see how you do it. Who's the vice president of the United States? Vice president? Ah! Uh, That's so funny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is it a boy or a girl? It's a man. 
Is his name Jeffrey? Not nowadays. No. It's a girl. <laughs> Knowing who the vice president is is pretty ubiquitous. Like, how do you not? Yeah. I mean, they have done this on different, like, talk shows and stuff like that where they'll go out and, you know, so quiz like, people on, on the street. Used to do it. On they the street. Think, yeah, yeah, quiz yeah. people on the street, like, about the most obvious common sense things. And what people get what do you, it wrong. And what do you know? Common sense isn't so common, as they oh. say. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done for a boyfriend? I mean, think really romantic. Probably a threesome. Yeah. Hey! Right? <laughs> True definition of romance. Wow. Don't you think, hon? No. Don't you think, hon? No. Mission <laughs> fail. We'll get him next time. When I say romance, I'm thinking flowers. <laughs> for a guy? That's what she thinks romance is. Uh, is that it? Is sex, sex on the romance? beach. There you go. Okay. With another girl. Well, that's very thoughtful. Nobody's <laughs> perfect, so be honest. What's your grossest habit? I tend to burp, pass gas. Ooh. That's up there on the gross meter. It's, I, it's worse than much worse habits. I also, uh, what? Uh, wow, that came out weird. Editors did that girl dirty, dude. They just, <laughs> <laughs> just, like, they just took like the worst parts from our little segment and included them. Well, sometimes I like to lick things. Licking what? Anything on the go. floor. We're gonna need context. Okay, that's gross. If you you could have gone another direction, and that could have been in the romance category. Like I would like floor? maybe. Come on. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. We get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. She didn't only lick it. She wanted to taste it. Coronavirus ground zero. I just like her the best by far. Who'd you pick? I picked this one. Oh, there she is. I picked her. If we pick the worst of this bunch, mm -hmm. that's significantly better than Crystal. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> that's for damn yeah. sure. My parents hate my girlfriend, Crystal, so they set me up on two random dates. The girl that my stepmom chose for me is coming first. I'm pretty nervous to go on my first date, but, you know, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Here we Good go. Shot. Shot. Nice attempt. You're so cute, you and your daddy, you little best friend. We get each other. You know, I kind of think that's a little creepy. Why? Because he has a good relationship with his father? Well, are you my best friend? Are you my best friend? Or is your daddy? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah? I'll see. Oh, we'll see later tonight who's your best friend. <gasps> Hopefully not his daddy in the case she's talking. <laughs> Make it. I picked Amanda. I thought she's very sexy and very smart. Nice mom. She'll just go crazy over I think. Josh, you ready? Wait, is yeah. she the oncologist yeah. one? No, no. Abercrombie. Oh yeah, Abercrombie. Crickets. And, and, and Fitch. Fitch. She probably dresses good. I guess so mom's not looking for that career go-getter. She wants that retail worker, potential suitor that, you know. Sweet personality. Stay at home mom types, you know. First thing I noticed about Amanda is that she's really cute and she has an amazing smile. This is Crystal, that's Amanda, that's Josh's girlfriend that we're Hello. trying to get rid of. Awkward! When Amanda first walked in, I thought she looked like she was 12 years old. She didn't know how to dress. Not Josh's type. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Have, Have fun! fun. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Ooh. This is too so much! Today, this is so stupid. Josh. Like, wait, like, wait till she walks out the door. Bad, bad. What do you like to do for fun? I like to do anything that has a little bit of adventure in it. You know. Skateboarding, snowboarding, playing sports. I want to Shock go after all. around the world and skydive in what? every country. Okay. Wow, you are pretty That's... adventurous. <laughs> she's darling. Yeah, yeah, she's cute. Over under on how many countries she actually has done 15 years later. One. Tops the most. No way she did that. I think I babysitted a girl her age one. <laughs> she's your age, knucklehead. <laughs> oh my babysitted. So why'd no. you take me ice skating? Do you used to do it a lot when you were a kid? I did, actually. What about you? Well, I grew up in the desert, so I didn't really get to see anything cold very often. Looks like she grew up in a cave, hasn't seen the sun in a little while. So she has one little thing wrong with her. It's not a big game. She's the color what of the it? rink. Pale. Someone needs to show her some sun. Oh, look at you, Pocahontas. <laughs> these this is, the writing in this is so bad. First of all, it is back like these days. It's like cooler to be pale than it was in the two two thousand six. Absolutely, yeah. Like at least in my mind, pale's the new tan, man. Two thousand twenty one, yeah. Tanning beds, lame. That was a lot of fun. I know I had so much fun. Oh, fancy day eating at the cafeteria. <laughs> cafeteria of the rink. Um, a warm ice skating rink is called a pool. Hello. Nope, that's, that, Girl. that's, nope. You know, the ice melts, turns into a pool. Yeah, well, we get it. We get it. 
I love coloring and like playing with toys. Like I went to Target like and they have this like dinosaur <laughs> where it like walks and like makes noises and I love dinosaurs so I'm like sitting there playing with the toy and like I put it on the ground and it's like walking. <laughs> 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 His laugh pretty much perfectly exemplified how I was feeling, ready? <laughs> what the f is this talking about? She's playing with toys. That sounds like something Jackson would do, but he's three. That's something he does do. Yeah. Does your girlfriend ever spoil you right now? No, not really. really? I wish I wish she would. I, I always like, like to spoil her. I've done surprise parties for like most of my ex-boyfriends. My really? Best surprise parties? Whoa! Whoa! See you later, Crystal. Found my new bitch. Can you bring a dinosaur that walks when you put it on the ground? So I just got done ice skating with Amanda. It was a great time. She's really funny and she's really cute. So my dad's pick is on her way. Here she you comes. Know, if I already guessed, my dad would definitely pick a really cute girl. So I, you know, I'm pretty excited <laughs> and I think this is going to be a lot of fun. My dad loves hot young blondes, if I had to guess. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. How are you? I picked Nikki because I, I think her. that she's perfect for Josh and that she has a good, solid family background and a good look to her. This is Nikki. Nice to meet you. She she looks, I am very loyal oh, and ah. I'm adventurous. That's right. You're not going to find anyone like me. I thought Nikki was huh. really cute. She had a really sweet smile and she has an amazing body. I think we're going to have a lot of fun today. And now this is Crystal. Hi. Wow. Nikki, she's gross. She needs to go eat something. She looks like complete Trailer trash. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Okay, you guys, have a great time. Have a really good time. They're just like, well, you can't really come up with anything, so just come up with like really generic so let's comments. Just call yeah. you skinny. Let's just call you skinny, trailer trash, anything. It's super low hanging. Love that green screen over the TV. Hi. Hi. I'm Nikki. Nikki. Hi. Josh. Josh, nice to meet you. I prepared some delicious salads and fruit oh, that's downstairs great. All right. before Ooh. you start your massage, okay? So just change it to your ropes. Okay, way cooler date than an ice rink, sorry. Yeah. Do the girls pick the date? No idea. No, the parents. She sounded like she did. What are you gonna do if he has a good time? Josh isn't gonna have a good time. He's gonna fake it for you guys, and then it'll be over Just with. because he fakes it for you, doesn't Please. mean he'll fake it for us. Wow. Enjoyed it last night. DMI. DMI. Man, she just keeps bringing it back time to so far? Oh. So far, I'm having a great time. I'm really looking forward to the massage. Yeah, me too. She's already naked in front of him. She's wearing more clothes than you are right now. How dare you criticize her? She's not wearing anything. She's she has covered. a robe on. She, nice language. She's covered from her neck down to her to her knees. You're not. You two give me a headache. I do gotta. I do wonder why is swearing so offensive still? It's 2021. Yeah, I mean, well, it is... Of all the things, why is a swear offensive? Well, you're starting to see, I don't know, it depends. Like, YouTube's getting more lenient on it. Traditional traditional media still, like radio and television. We can have shows like Riverdale, where it's like a bunch of, like, hussy, supposed high schoolers running around banging each other, but you can't say, like... When do you, you like that show? You can't say, like, No, I, that show used to be my guilty pleasure a while ago. It was like, I don't know why... <laughs> Ready for you. Come on in for your massage. Alright. Amazing. Here we go. Oh. oh look how skinny she is. Can you but if she had some meat on her bones, I, I bet she'd be fat. Or something? I know, right? Damn. Why? Nice. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, see, Josh. He puts nice. it right out there. This is nice. Classic MTV body shaming back in the 2000s. Ew, is that her vagina? What the f? Yeah, that's, that's her vagina. A burn person. This is one good call the other burn a girl. Huh? A girl who's able to spoil me. <laughs> He's opening up to her. Yes. Seriously? Cover up. Woo! Yo! That was kind of funny. Marshall, get it going, dude. <laughs> you can wear got a t-shirt under that. It's cool. Spare pack of hot dogs hanging out the bottom. <laughs> Statement like I is that this thing? I just what missed, did you just make I that? I don't know. I just said it. <laughs> what do you think of me so far? In one day you've already done more for me than my girlfriend has <laughs> in the past couple months. Oh, I feel bad, but you deserve better than that, you know. Nice ears, by the way, Dumbo. You fly away with those things. <laughs> wow. So did you learn anything Harsh. that you could massage me? Yeah, you want to find out? All right. Goes oh, right for the toes. <laughs> so we have a foot fetish, my we man. We have a foot fetish alert. Date's over, so now 
decision making time. Done at the spa with Nikki. Nikki is really cool and man, she is hot. So now here comes the hard part. What do you? What's your call? What do you think he's gonna do? I forget their names already, but the the girl that took him for a massage. Do you think he's going with the most recent chick? I do. I think he's gonna stick. I think he should go with one of the new girls because Crystal. That's the whole point of the show is to make you yeah, hate yeah, the girlfriend. Yeah. I think he should go with Ice Rink Girl. No, actually, no. She saw. I like Chris. I like the most recent one. I don't think Amanda sopped. No, but, but the whole that, like, oh, I like to go play with dinosaurs at Target and watch them walk on the weird. floor. I'm like, yeah, yeah that um, girl seemed more the down there. Last girl there was a little more interested in him. Yeah, and just seemed just chiller, more down to earth. You all are amazing girls, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to let one of you go. Who's getting the Crystal, rose? Bye. Oh yeah, they get rid no, of one first. No, ice ring girl first, Amanda. Imagine he gets rid of his current girlfriend first. Nikki, I had wow. a lot of fun on our date today, and I think you are a beautiful Blowing girl. Blowing it, bro. But if I were to be honest, both of our I'd picks to say that initial beyond acts. your looks, I just don't think that there was much there. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to you right now. Wow. Interesting. You're hot, but you're empty You're hot like and selfless, yeah. but I didn't pick me. He gives a massage like a girl, and that's not a good thing. Oh! oh. This is harder than I thought it was gonna Roasted. be. Roasted! No, I think he's gonna stay with the girl. You are an amazing yes. girl and a lot of fun, but <laughs> I think you might be a little bit too immature for me. Oh, I told you. And Crystal. Wait, is he gonna bounce? Is he gonna go solo? Is he gonna go stag right now? No. They've done that. He doesn't have to pick one. Let's see. Let's find out. Oh boy, his parents would be even happier. I really feel like you take me for granted. And sometimes I just feel like an afterthought to you. Oof. Gosh, get me some popcorn right now. So oh I thought God. long and hard about this. And <sighs> I finally decided who I'm going to choose. God, drag it out a little bit longer, man. He looks so nervous. Commercial break, except for on YouTube, so there are none, but that's exactly when that would happen. Amanda. Hey! What? Oh my God! I'm so happy. I'll let the door hit you in the ass. You know Josh? You made the biggest mistake of your life, and you. Wow. Classy Brutal. till the end. <laughs> Classy till the end. Josh made the perfect choice. There's nothing more important than family. This show is so toxic. Dude. It's so bad. It's so toxic. <laughs> oh, my God. I have I literally feel like I'm getting radiation right now watching this. <laughs> thought we had so much fun, and I think our chemistry is going to last We're a getting while. married! She pulls her ring out. Hey! Aww. Wow. Good boy, Josh. Uh, wow. A little soiree uh, into the third classic MTV nonsense. The suspense kept me, like, really going here. It does. That's why I wanted to watch one episode instead of jump around. Yeah. You, we needed the context, yeah. yeah. Totally agree. Not, not nearly the same amount of zingers as Next, but definitely... Nothing beats probably Next. Probably more toxic for... as far as, like, the whole, like, hey, if you don't do what we want, you're not part of this family, son, bullshit. Thank you guys for joining us for that one. Hope it was nostalgic for some. Uh, <clears throat> hope it was nostalgic for some of you, and maybe eye-opening for others. And we will see you very soon in the next video. We appreciate you, deuces.